Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys? So happy to be here with you. Um, I am here today to show you to make another really cool treat. It is Tiny Easter Treats Week, which means lots of tiny treats that are great for people that you want to just give something small to. Um, you just want to say thank you. And you need them to be quick and easy so you can pump out a bunch of them. And this is one of those things. So these don't have to be used just for Easter, but I am using Easter as the theme for this particular one. I'm using the Easter Bunny stamp set, and I will be using it periodically because I love the sentiment of Happy Easter and, of course, an Easter treat for you. We are doing treats, so that one works out really well. So check out the Easter Bunny bundle. Um, it is available um, if you've already have it because I did use it for um, 14 days of Easter. But if you don't have the Flowers of Friendship, it's a fantastic stamp set and there is a punch that punches these flowers out and these leaves. It's a fantastic little punch. So check that out. Um, and I used it for this flower on here. So see how cool this is? Now, this is a small piece of designer series paper. Um, we are going to be using that. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm using the Flowers and More Designer Series paper, and it is a free host paper that you can get in the mini catalog that is current right now until the end of April. So if you place a $150 order or more, if you have a group of friends and all of you pull your orders together, you can also get that pack of paper. So let's go ahead and get started. The Essential Tag Punch is a pretty cool punch. And I am going to show you what I am using it for here. So first of all, we're going to get our scoreboard. This piece of designer series paper that we are using is one and a half inches by five inches. So I'm going to move these punches out of the way. And so I'm going to score it at two, at three, and then I'm gonna come back at the two and a half inch mark as well, okay? So two, two and a half, and three. That gives you three little score marks. It's kind of hard to see on designer series paper, but here they are. Maybe you can see them better now. The reason I wanted the middle score mark is I'm gonna be punching both these toppers at the same time, and I'm gonna show you what we are gonna do. All right, so we're gonna grab the essential tag punch and you can see that it has these really cool little divots out of this tag. So I'm gonna take my paper that I have scored and at the two and a half inch mark, which is you know right in half, you're gonna fold your piece and you're gonna insert it into the punch from the inside. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but it works, you just kind of find that little spot there and see here it comes out the top. And what you wanna do is you wanna pull it so that you can see at this top point as you pull it back, it's almost all the way through the punch, okay? So slowly pull it back, okay, it's almost out. Now I'm gonna hold it evenly on both sides there, it's a little bit shorter on either side. See how I have a little wiggle room? So I wanna make sure that I have it centered in between the two sides. And once I have it and I'm happy with the placement, I'm gonna go ahead and push right here. And it is gonna punch those two divots out of the top of our DSP, okay? So the inside has this really pretty flower paper and I wanted to make good use of it. So I decided that we would wrap our Hershey nugget out of that paper because I didn't want to go to use. So let me grab our nugget. I gotta dig in my little bag here of candy. I'm really good at having a little drawer of candy. <laughs> so here's the Hershey Nugget. 
and we're gonna wrap this paper around. So let's grab our, anytime I use glue, you guys know, I have to grab my silicone mat because I am messy, messy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on the back end of that piece, and I'm gonna stick it on our wrapper, and then I'm going to wrap this piece around. Now this piece of um, DSP that I am using to wrap around the candy is one inch by three inches. So it's one inch wide and it's three inches long. And then on the other side, I'm also gonna run my seal adhesive on that end. And when I bring it around, it will stick to the other part of the designer series paper. And there is our little nugget wrapped in that pretty paper. So now we are going to attach it on the inside. So I'm gonna run my adhesive over that score line section. And we're gonna bring this together like so. So there's my nugget on the inside. And then we're gonna close it. Now to seal our nugget, we're gonna do a few things. So let's put this aside for right now. We're gonna table it and we're gonna make all this pretty stuff here on the front, okay? So let's just set that to the side for right now. We'll come back to it in a few minutes. So the next thing we are gonna do is we are gonna stamp us a flower. We're gonna use Tahitian Tide. So we're gonna ink that up and I'm gonna stamp it. Right about there is good, pretty. And then we are gonna stamp the leaf. And the way that you wanna stamp is you have to figure out the position of the, the punch itself. So the flower is four petals with two on the top and two on the bottom. So that's how I stamp that. Now this leaf is this large leaf right here. And so to stamp it, it's angled in this direction. So when I stamp my leaf, I want to angle my leaf the same way, just like that. So we're going to come back to this Tahitian. Let's go ahead and clean my stamps. So you just need one flower, one leaf. The next thing we're going to stamp is our words, which are an Easter treat for you. And like I said, we're gonna revisit Tahitian Tide. And let's go ahead and ink that up. And we're just gonna bring it down where I can see what I'm doing because I can't see right now. <laughs> and we're just gonna stamp that on our piece. Fabulous. All right, now we can close our Tahitian Tide. And then we are going to be using our punch to punch out our flower and our leaf. And I'm gonna use my mini guillotine trimmer to do the word. So let's do that quickly. For those of you who like these trimmers, I have linked in the description of the video where you could get your own. All right, so there is that one. Let's get that bottom side even. There we go. So there's that. We are going to take our punch and we will find our a leaf and once I have it lined up I'm going to give it a punch so there's my leaf and our flower same bring it in here to the middle line it up and give it a punch all right, so let's cut away 
our excess and throw away these pieces. Now, the ribbon. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we have a beautiful Tahitian tied ribbon. Now, this ribbon doesn't come in Tahitian tied. How did I get that ribbon? Who knows, right? It's exciting. Uh, I'm going to take a scrap. I have this lovely uh, scrap here, and it's actually our pale papaya open weave ribbon. And I am going to use the Dark Tahitian Tide stamp and Blend. Oops, wrong side. I want the brush tip. And because it's such a pale color, the stamp and Blend can easily coat it. So I'm just going to go down this side here first. Work my way down the other side. Get the center and get that. I'm gonna rotate it. And that piece I was holding on to, I'm gonna go ahead and get that piece in the center. And then I'm just gonna flip it over just to make sure that both sides are coated. I thought that it would be, and it is. I'm just gonna give it a nice dark on the down, the two edges. It will lighten as it dries. But this is how you turn a piece of pale papaya ribbon into Tahitian Tide. Pretty fantastic. <laughs> All right, so let's get that out of the way. Let's get our Wink of Stella out. Um, I love Wink of Stella, and I think it adds just that really pretty, fun sparkle. So I'm gonna do it in the center of each of these petals of my flower. And then I also wanted to do it down the center of my leaf. So that adds a little sparkle there. I'm gonna grab my bone folder and I'm gonna take my petals of my flower and I'm just gonna push them forward by holding the bone folder with my finger and kind of sliding my finger up and out or my wrist up and out. That curls those ends. I'm also gonna curl my leaf just like that. Let's go ahead and stick those two together. So I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on my leaf. We're gonna add that to our flower. And then I'm gonna put a dimensional on the back. I gotta find them. Here we go. So let's put that on the back. Let's trim our sentiment. So I like to use my paper snips and give it a little banner end. I think I'm gonna come in a little from the side. That one, I thought it was a little too pointy. There we go. Fabulous. Clean it up a little. Let's do the other side. So we're gonna come in. We're gonna come from the side, come in from the side just like that, make sure it meets in the middle. That's the most important part that you meet in the middle there. And if not, you get the, rid of that little extra. All right, we're gonna pick these up. Fabulous. And on the back, let's put a couple dimensionals as well. All right, so now let's work on the ribbon part. All right, here is our little project. So to get our holes to close this, we are gonna use a handheld um, rectangle punch. Kind of like a hole punch, but it does a mini, like a little rectangle. I'll show you in a second. So I'm gonna do the first one or I'm gonna try. So there's the rectangle. I'm gonna do a second one, a little gap in between them. So there's my second one. Doesn't matter if they're perfect, you just need to. So we are going to weave our ribbon from the front of our project to the back on one side. 
So there is that one. And then let's take the other side through those hole, through the second hole that I made. Well, if I can do it. <laughs> That's always, you know, you gotta hold it, right? So that you can get it through. Now, we're gonna pull on these pieces and we're gonna make them even. Now, see, there's the front, okay? You wanna make sure that your ribbon is not twisted. There we go, I straightened it out. Now we're gonna cross them in the back. So we're gonna crisscross them. So the hole that this one came out of it's gonna go into the opposite hole. So I'm gonna move this one out of the way temporarily, and I'm gonna take this ribbon here, and I'm gonna feed it through the hole of the opposite side, okay? So I'm just gonna push that through there, and hopefully I can grab it. My fingers don't work very well right now with my carpal tunnel, so I'm gonna use my take your pick tool to help. So I'll push that through, there we go. Grab up the other side. If you have fingers that work, you shouldn't have any problem. So let's do the same thing here. We're gonna push it through that hole. Sometimes my fingers just give me trouble, other times they're fine. All right, so there is our ribbon. Isn't that pretty? Little knot, so I'm gonna use my ribbon scissors. And I'm gonna trim that. Just like that. And now let's decorate the front with our stamped pieces. So we're gonna pull the backs off our Stampin' Dimensionals. <clears throat> All right. Let's start with an Easter treat for you. I'm gonna angle that a little bit. There we go. And then let's add our flower. And let's position our flower. Remember we have that really pretty, um, we kind of curled our, our little petals. So sometimes you have to remind them that they're curled. And then the final step, we're gonna put a rhinestone right there in the center of the flower. So let me grab our rhinestones and Gonna pull one of these guys out and we'll put it right there in the center of my project. Put them back in their holder, of course. All right, and move our little mat out of the way. And there is our cute little essential tag punch, which is this punch, nugget holder. So when they open it, the nugget is wrapped in that pretty floral paper. And it's just a, it's a great coworker gift. It's a great gift to put at the table. Um, if you're having people over, it's just a great little project. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you will make some for yourself. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to share my video, um, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of my project. Thanks for being here, guys. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. See you tomorrow. Happy stamping.